So guys, welcome to your 34th After Effects tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to begin working with effects. Now, effects in After Effects is pretty much something special you can do to the video. And this can include uh, changing the color of it, uh, changing the brightness, blurring your image, or also just something totally random and different. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys how to do this. First of all, you can only apply effects to the layers you want. So in order to apply it to one layer, go ahead and select whatever layer you want to apply it to right down here. Uh, since I only have one layer, it's easy, but if you have multiple layers, select the one you want to apply it to. And now, after you have that layer selected, there's a couple different ways you can apply effect to it. Uh, the most noticeable one, probably, is at this effects um, little tab at the top. Go ahead and click that, and now you see your whole list of effects. Um, these are just grouped in different categories, so for easier finding. But pretty much, these are all effects, and um, they have a little arrow to expand on the right. So go ahead and click any effect. Um, I'm going to click um, CC Glass. That's a good one. And what this does, as you see, is apply a little um, glass looking, I don't even know, to the image. So now, my video, when I play it, I look like the guy from Deliverance that plays the banjo. But anyways, no offense to banjo players. But yeah, that's pretty much what effects does. It adds some sort of special effects to uh, your composition. And again, there are hundreds and hundreds of these. And you can also um, download custom ones from the internet, but we'll probably get into that a little bit later. So anytime you want to delete an effect, go ahead under your effect and press the delete. Now, I probably shouldn't have done that, so here, re redo that. And what I want to, I said I didn't want to do that because first I want to show you guys how to toggle your effects. If you're working with effects and you have this minimize, anytime you want to bring up the effects, just select your layer and press E on your keyboard. And this will bring up whatever effects you have. So from there, you can go ahead and probably delete it. Just want to show you guys that first. Now, a different way in... Um, like a way most people put effects on their screen I believe is in order to um, do this in an alternative way you have an effects and presets panels over here let me expand it and so if you wanna apply an effect this way what you can do is go ahead and click your layer that you want to affect go ahead and uh, click one of these effects like color correction or something and then here here's a good one go ahead and click well, you don't have to click exposure, but I will. You can either drag it on your composition like this, or just double click it, and you will get the effect applied to your image. Now, this brings me to another thing. Anytime you apply an effect to an image, you get this mini little, I don't know, like an effects control panel. You also have settings under your effect right here but it's usually easier to uh, manipulate them in this little control panel. So anytime you apply to effect, um, I believe every single one of the time it has little presets and this is how you change the effect. So for example we have exposure effect um, applied to this and exposure has a bunch of different settings. That's a word I was looking for, settings. So again anytime you want to adjust any of these settings all of them are in here and they aren't always uh, scroll bars some of them have little graphs and some of them have different stuff uh, for example if you search um, curves and I guess that brings me to another thing anytime you want to search for effect just go ahead and type in your search box don't really need to teach you guys how to do that but again anytime you want to search for one like a uh, color here's all the stuff you can do with color but I want to go curves which is kinda like color and again I want to apply this to my composition so I'll grab it and apply it to my composition and this also lets you know that um, anytime you have a layer all of the effects are right here and you can also apply many effects at the same time so let's go ahead and edit curves um, let's bring this down this down and as you can see some of them are graphical some of them have drop down boxes let's uh, take my red and bring it down as you can see some of the red disappears 
And another thing and the last thing I want to point out is anytime you don't want to view an effect or don't want to have an effect or you just want to temporarily disable it, on your main effects panel right here, you have this little checkbox called FX. This means toggle the main effect off. So look at my exposure. When it's on right now. Whenever I toggle it off, the exposure goes away. Whenever I toggle my curves off, the curves goes away. So if I want to toggle them both off, I get both preset. So that's um well, it's kind of just useful if you want to just like uh, avoid it for a little bit. Then I guess that's uh, what you would do. If you want to get rid of it totally, then just go ahead and delete it. But again, the main things I want to stress are how to get effects on your composition and also that you can have many effects at the same time and aside from that anytime you want to edit the settings of the effects which every effect has you gotta go in this uh, go you gotta go in this effects control so that's your real quick tutorial on how to work with effects and I will end for you guys by applying this um, CC glass effect because I know you guys like that so much where are you CC glass there we go right there <laughs> So again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I hope you learned a little bit in effects. We're probably going to be going over more in the next tutorial. But again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next tutorial.